So it would seem that free speech is the topic of the channel this week. It actually kind of started last week when I covered a short video that Pokimane put out talking about legislation that she wanted to propose to Congress. That then carried over into my Sunday live stream where I read all of the comments from the videos which then inspired one of my subscribers to leave a lengthy comment to which I made a video on that discussing the ideas of free speech and exactly how it works in the online digital age. And today Today, some very, very big news comes out from a man who, although I may disagree with him on a few things, seems to want more free speech than most. Dr. Jordan B. Peterson breaking. The Ontario College of Psychologists at CP Ontario has demanded that I submit myself to mandatory social media communication retraining with their experts for, among other crimes, retweeting Pierre Polivre, uh, ah, my French is rusty, and criticizing Justin Trudeau and his political allies. I have been accused of harming people, although none of the complaints involved in the current action were clients of, of mine. Okay past or present or uh, and were even acquainted with any of my clients. I am to take a course of such training with reports documenting my progress or face an in-person tribunal and suspension of my right to operate as a licensed clinical psychologist. Uh, the right and licensed rights are not licensed out. Dr. Jordan Peterson. So you never had a right. To practice you were licensed to practice as a clinical psychologist about a dozen people from all over the world submitted complaints about my public statements on twitter and rogan over a four year period out of 15 million who followed me on social media claiming that i'd harmed people not them with my views interestingly enough the world and free speech is getting more and more restrained. Laws and the elite are going after the thought criminals because it's those of us out here who are sitting here talking about these ideas, what the elite are doing. And when you say, well, what do you mean the elite? Okay, government, government institutions, schooling, the richest among us, the people who gather governments in Hollywood together, such as places like the WEF, the various different groups that get together and they try to line the pockets of politicians in order to have certain laws passed. I don't know, maybe the people out there who decide that, well, because they have more money than everybody else, that maybe they should influence policy, influence culture, and ultimately do things time and time and time again that absolutely reduce the freedom of movement, the freedom of expression, and the overall freedom to exist that the rest of us have. So that's the elite. That's who I'm talking about. Now, although I may have some disagreements with Jordan B. Peterson on his idea of what he considers to be free speech and his ideas around anonymity online. I think that honestly, he has done a lot of good work for a lot of people. In fact, I've listened to many of his podcasts and found a lot of his conversations quite interesting. All right. This man here has gone out and really the reason that he has had as many people, 15 million people follow him over the years is because he struck a chord with many, right? He said, hey, it's okay to exist. One, he spoke to a lot of young men. He's also gone out there and challenged in a very big way the compelled speech laws that Canada has. That's right. If you don't know, over the course of the last about five to seven years, Canada has passed several laws in multiple different provinces that tell you not only what you can and can't say, but tell you, you have to say certain things. A lot of this is involved around people's pronouns. And honestly, I think that's completely preposterous. Not only are you not allowed to disagree, but you must speak in favor of what you disagree with. These compelled speech laws are the absolute antithesis of free speech. Silencing somebody and their speech is one thing, but telling them they have to speak a certain way 
that's complete that's a complete different level of evil and again here he is to take a training a retraining he is supposed to go through a retraining in order to maintain the license that he's had for well i forgot i think over the last 30 or 40 years and it's only because he decides to speak truth to power. Now, one of the only places that I could find, oh, no, and it's not going to, uh, uh, I don't think it's actually gonna let me in because I'm not gonna sign up and give them my email. Uh, maybe it will. The only place that I could find that was covering this at all outside of just Jordan Peterson's tweets was thejewishpress.com. I have never been here before at all, so I have no idea if it's a reputable website at all. But the Ontario College of Psychologists has demanded that uh, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson submit himself to mandatory social media communication retraining with its experts. The November 22, uh, 2022 decision by the inquiries, complaints, and reports of the committee was confirmed by the college in a statement on its website saying it had decided to require Dr. Jordan B. Peterson to successfully complete uh, a prescribed specific continuing education or remedial program Okay, remedial, that's interesting. I use the word remedial in my day job for when people decide to screw up and they have to go through remedial trainings, right? It's you've done something bad, all right? The substance of the S-E, of the S-C-E-R-P, which is what they specific continuing education or remedial program, is a coaching program to address issues regarding professionalism in public statements. So essentially what they are saying is that this man, a private individual, is not allowed to make any sort of statement that they deem at the college against what they believe. Not against what he believes, but against what they believe. Because, again, they don't believe that he has acted professionally. And they, being the ones who license him, right, let's get that out there, the governments who license him, have decided that it is not appropriate for him to speak against their power, especially while holding one of their licenses. This man has definitely been attacked by many, many, many people before. But the attacks just escalated, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, if these governments, these educational institutions, if they're not afraid to go after the millionaires, what makes you think they'd be afraid to go after you? God be with us all. I feel like dark days are on the way. But never lose faith and always remember there's light at the end of the tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. I look forward to seeing your comments down below, and I look forward to seeing you guys on my Sunday live stream, where I read your comments and I respond to you, because I feel that if you're here and you're giving me the time of day to watch these videos and comment on these videos, I should, well, I should do the same for you and give you my time. And that is Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. Also, I would love to see everybody here at 8 p.m. Central on Friday nights when we do a live stream show called Iron Age Nights. Where we're talking with authors, comic book writers, tabletop game developers, movie directors about the stories that they're going to build because they're absolutely tired of what Hollywood has been doing over the last decade or more. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And until next time, cheers everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.